Okay, so now I've given you an example of the multi-level uh, command icon, which is up in your paragraph group right here. And when you click, you know, you get a bunch of different styles that you can use. And what I want to show you is that what a multi-level list can do is give you different levels. So the level that's over on the left, the ones that I have bolded with numbers, those are considered to be level one list items. Anything that you see, like, whoops, like this, anything with this A and B, like here and here, these are all level two. And then these Roman numerals, those are level three. So I put these little lines to show you that the difference in levels is that each level that goes with a higher number gets pushed over to the right on the page. Okay, and how does that happen? So I wanna show you how, how that happens. So I'm just going to try and do it right below my note here. Okay, so I've come to a multi-level list. I'll pick this one. And I'm going to start typing. Uh, I want to see my... Okay, so I am now on level one. And it has the numbers just like you can see. And when I press enter, I want to type oatmeal, and you can see I want it to be at level two. So when I press enter, if I press my tab key, that's going to demote it to level two. And it does. You can see that it did. When I press enter again, it says, OK, you're at level two. I guess I'll keep you there. And I can do my next one. I'm going to press the enter again. But can you see that the next thing I want to type is lipsticks? And I want it to be on level one. And so if I do a shift tab and then type lipsticks, you can see that it promoted it. That's the right lingo. It promoted it to level one. And now I press my enter key and I now want to go I want to demote down to level two. So I press my tab key and I can type red. Now I press enter and the computer says, okay, great. You're probably sticking around on level two, but no, I'm not. So I press tab again to demote down to level three. And now I can do my colors. I get to the end of Apple and I press enter and now I want to promote back to level two. So that's a shift tab. And now when I type, I'm at level two, I press enter. If I type something, I'm on level two right now, but I want to demote down to level three and I can type. Does that make sense to you? That's how you, um, and I'm going to backspace a little bit and just show you the alternate method. So I type brown and I press enter and I can, I should be able to do this one uh, and that should also work and it did. Okay, and now I'll just undo that. So. If you don't like the tab idea, you could take your hands off the keyboard and come here to increase indent, or you can also come here and say exactly how much you want to indent, which I believe it's at five, but I'm, I'm actually not quite sure. So I'll indent, and now when I type, now, it did a little funny ordering thing when I just did that, so I'm not very happy about that. So I'm going 
I'm going to back up and I'm just going to avoid using indent and leave it at that. So use uh, your two methods. You have your shift tab to, to um, it, prom it promotes back up to level one and tab key demotes from level one to two to three and so on. Okay. Um, and, you know, if you select this entire list, you should be able to change the style of the list by coming in and choosing, you know, a different setup. And these can be customized, but for us and our exercises, I don't think we need to customize anything. Okay, so I'm going to end this here unless there's really a quick question exactly about this material.